Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman, and thank you to Senator Murray and Senator Arano for being here today. I would like to address a very important topic with you today. I'm here to speak in support of the Arla Harrell Act, legislation which I introduced to address a very serious injustice that has been perpetrated against veterans that were purposely exposed through our own military to chemical agents as part of U.S. government experiments during World War II. The United States government conducted classified chemical tests of mustard agents, including mustard gas and lewisite, on thousands of its own service members. Mustard agents can cause painful blisters on exposed skin, as well as damage to the eyes and respiratory system, leading to a lifetime of adverse health impacts. In total, 60,000 service members are estimated to have participated in the tests, with about 4,000 of them facing the most extreme forms of full body exposure. One of these service members is a constituent of mine, Arla Harrell who was twice exposed to mustard gas while stationed for basic training at Camp Crowder in Neosho, Missouri in 1945. Arla and his fellow subjects were told they would be helping the military, quote, test summer clothing, end of quote, in exchange for additional leave. It was not until they arrived at the testing site that they were told they would be exposed to mustard agents. Service members who participated in chamber tests were repeatedly exposed to mustard agents until they developed moderate to intense urethra, a painful skin disorder. The service members were threatened with court-martial if they did not continue with the testing. To make matters worse, they were sworn to an oath of secrecy, leaving them unable to share what had happened to them with anyone, including their own health care providers. Following his exposure, Arla was hospitalized twice, first at Camp Crowder while still in basic training, and again at the 98th General Hospital in Munich, Germany. Due to the classified nature of the testing and the oath of secrecy, this meant decades of suffering and frustration for the impacted veterans as they sought medical care from doctors who were in the dark about their exposure. Seventy years after the experiments took place, the government has yet to appropriately assist and compensate many of these veterans. The VA finally established a process 25 years ago to compensate these veterans, but it puts the burden on the veterans to prove that they were exposed to mustard gas in order to make a successful claim. These tests were classified. The young service members were held to an oath of secrecy for more than 40 years. Records are incomplete. And for some veterans, a massive 1973 fire destroyed their entire service files. The VA established a burden of proof that is insurmountable to many impacted veterans. The VA has rejected approximately 90% of the applicants for VA benefits connected to exposure of mustard gas or lewisite. Of the thousands of veterans who were exposed during World War II during this testing, only 40 are receiving benefits today. Arla Harrell himself has been denied benefits multiple times, most recently just this month. The VA says it cannot confirm that mustard gas testing occurred at Camp Crowder and therefore cannot approve his benefits. This comes despite the clear statements from Arla regarding his treatment and the health effects he has suffered. And it comes despite the fact that the Army recovered mustard gas in vials in Camp Crowder more than 30 years ago. And an Army Corps of Engineers report identifies gas chambers at Camp Crowder. I have put a document up on the easel that was made by the Army Corps of Engineers. They went to tear down Camp Crowder and someone operating the bulldozer had a smoke of something come up from the air and began coughing and they recovered both the vials of mustard gas and they found the actual gas chambers on the property. The Arla Harrell Act would improve the VA's consideration of mustard, gas, mustard agent exposure claims and address this terrible situation. Simply, the bill would flip the burden of proof for veterans who have already been denied these benefits. And keep in mind, it only flips the benefit of, of, of tr who has to prove this for the people who've already applied. And there's less than 400 of these folks still alive. 
So for 400 individuals who have already applied, it would flip the burden of proof, but it would not open up claims for anyone else who has not previously applied. So it's a very limited application. It would require the VA to reconsider all previously rejected claims for benefits under this program with the presumption that the veteran was exposed to mustard gas. Rather than the, require the veteran to prove exposure of a program classified for decades and decades and frankly only really known about within the bowels of the Department of Defense for many years, the bill would require the VA to prove that he was not. This is not a large universe of individuals and all of them have previously made a claim for benefits. Additionally, the bill would require the VA and DOD to establish a new policy for the processing of future mustard agent benefit claims so that other veterans don't go through what Arla Harrell has gone through. Arla and his wife Betty and their five children have fought for compensation for a service-related illness for almost 25 years. They just want somebody to believe him. After more than 70 years, Arla and veterans like him deserve recognition for their selfless service. I urge the committee to support this legislation so we can keep our commitment and ensure that all veterans receive the respect, care, and benefits they have earned. And thank you, Mr. Chairman and senators for being here, and I hope that this is something that would not be controversial and that we could move fairly quickly through the process.